Well, hello, welcome to the stream. Yes, this is how it started. Seven days of playing ago. It's not really one week because I took uh, slightly more time. You know, I've got a wife and kids and a job as well. So, uh, well, seven days of playing ago, I started with uh, my clear save. And I picked a new commander name, which was Commander Buana Mzungu. Buana Mzungu means uh, Mr. White Guy. Um, I've lived in Uganda, it was a name that was given to me. Um, uh, well, the Mzungu part, that is, because Mzungu means white man. Um, if you drive your car around there, and there's a lot of uh, African kids, and they see you driving around, they might start shouting Mzungu at you. Buana means Mr. And I just thought it would be a funny name. Anyway, the account was completely empty, so this is where it all started. Next thing I did was get a stock Sidewinder. You know, if we're going to make it hard, why not go all the way and make it really hard? A stock Sidewinder, so um, the ship is, uh, well, that was granted to you, but all the modules on it are loaned to you. So there's nothing in the ship, uh, except your own self, of course, that is your own. Um, my plan is to keep on playing, broadcasting and recording this account until at some point I reach Elite in one of the uh, professions. So either uh, Elite in Exploring or in Trading or in Combat. And reach the Duke rank in the Empire as well. It took me some time, you know, this is uh, looking back at the first week. Um, first of all, I tried to uh, ra rank up with the Federation or I decided to do that then I changed my mind and it changed my mind quite a lot in the first week but now I'm really adamant I'm going to go for Duke in the Empire and make sure I actually get the um, Imperial Cutter at some point so I'll be streaming every single minute of my playing time on this account and I will be recording and making videos about the progress as well so right at the start, I decided to uh, stick to the Sidewinder for the first, uh, well, hour and a half or something like that, because I really didn't think that one of the first ships um, I could purchase, so either the uh, hauler, which is uh, a slightly bigger cargo ship, well, slightly, it's a lot bigger than the Sidewinder, but a, a cargo ship like that, or the Eagle, which is the first uh, fighter you can get, those weren't really going to help me uh, do these missions. So I decided to stick to the Sidewinder for the start. And, um, well, after about uh, an hour and a half of doing uh, missions uh, like this, I switched to an adder. And uh, the adder is just uh, the first um, ship that I liked. Not just in this account, but also in my uh, regular account, in my main account. The Adder was the first ship I aimed for, because it was the first really multi-purpose ship. It can stand its own in a fight, and it can uh, transport more cargo than the hauler. It can uh, jump, decent uh, jump range, and, um, well, a lot of things like that. So, um, uh, actually a very, very nice ship. So, I decided to go for that, and just skip the, the first... Uh, the first two other choices. So the first hour was just me doing loads of missions in the Sidewinder to make sure that I got enough credits um, to progress to my next ship of choice, the Adder. And after an hour and 20 minutes of playing time you can see me purchasing my Adder here. I had a great time flying this for all of an, well, hour, an hour and a half, because at the end of the episode I actually got into my next ship, which was my goal for the first episode as well. I was like, you know, I really need to get the first real ship in which you can transport a significant amount of cargo if you compare it to the adder or the hauler, and it's actually... Um, it is a, a true multi-purpose ship. You know, the Adder is a multi-purpose ship um, because it can fulfill several roles, but it can fulfill it as well as the Cobra. So the Cobra Mark III was my, um, well, my point at the horizon where I wanted to get to before the first episode was done. And to cut a long story short, an hour and a half later, I 
bought my Cobra. You can see me doing that here, and it was uh, the moment for me to say, okay, you know, this first episode, this first day of playing on this account has been great. Let's stop now and uh, continue the next day. This is going to be day two in the life of Commander Guanamazun. Last episode I made it from my starting Sidewinder to a Cobra Mark III, <coughs> which is, uh, well, not completely stock, but close to being stock, and um, well, I, basically I didn't decide yet what I'm going to do next, so it might be an episode in which I'm searching what to do with this, uh, with this account. I'm thinking about uh, ranking with the Federation, but then again I'm, I'm also doing that on my main account, so I might start ranking with the Empire. So as you can hear this, uh, this last part was live and you can hear me just contemplating what am I going to do with this account. I was actually jumping back and forth for the first, well, five days of playing this account. What I did in this episode as well, in the second day, was get a Viper and um, make sure I, I did some bounty hunting, but then um, two or three days later I decided, you know, that's actually not, not really handy because I'm spreading my assets too thinly. You know, I'm, I'm trying to invest on the Cobra and invest in the, uh, the Viper as well, and that's just not working. Even though both of them are really nice ships, um, I didn't f really feel I was playing it the right way. So, I got myself a Cobra and uh, f bought my Viper again and just focused on doing missions, ranking up, um, making sure I actually got more credits because knowing me, I already had another, well, more or less long-term goal. So that was the first two days. Skipping ahead, just skipping day three, four, five, and six, because, well, basically day three, four, and five was just me thinking about, am I going to go for the Federation, for uh, the Empire, or am I going to focus on the Alliance, or, you know, and planning on which ships to get. I really liked the dropship, but it was really expensive to purchase, and I had to rank up with the Federation first. I was like, now, you know what, I'll be going for the Empire, so um, I talked to some of the guys who were watching my stream and they said, you know, you should really go to uh, this system, Meliontit, and um, I haven't got a clue. It could even be Melion or something like that. Um, and uh, to Abe Hub, which I made it to my home station. And I started selling the different modules on my Cobra when I got there. Um, and made sure I got into the ASP, which was the next ship I really want to get. I'm probably going to stick for this ship for the next few, well not few, for the next few weeks. Um, because I really feel that uh, it is a great ship, it is a ship that can, you can do a lot with and um, well it's got a decent jump range, you can take quite a lot of cargo with it, you can fight really well in it. And, uh, well, with the paint job I have on it, it actually looks good as well. So the end of the seventh episode was um, getting near. But then the end of day seven, I got destroyed. It was quite a strange moment, actually. I was flying around with my ASP, doing missions, and I got interdicted by, uh, by one uh, NPC character, so a non-playable character. And... Um, I almost killed him with the uh, system security forces with me, so he was down to 25% health and um, he jumped out. So I thought, well, that's a win. I flew on, he interdicted me again. I was like, well, surely he's still at 25% health. But he wasn't, he was back at 100% health. And that happened two or three times in a row. And the last time I just got destroyed because he was at 100% every time he interdicted me and I wasn't. And of course you cannot um, live very long if your health just keeps going down. So at the end of the seventh day I was destroyed and uh, had to redo that. 
So I more or less cheated a little and started broadcasting again on the evening of the seventh day and uh, redid the, uh, the last few missions I still could uh, could do. So, all in all, after one week of playing, I'm in a ASP, which is pretty well upgraded. It's not uh, fully upgraded yet, of course, because, uh, well, every single module that I want to A-rate, uh, as in the, the, the FSD drive, the thrusters and uh, stuff like that, it's all going to cost 5 million credits. I simply don't have that money yet. But I do have an ASP that can stand its own in a fight most of the time. Um, I do have, uh, well, quite a nice amount of cargo. I do have a G decent jump range and I've got a very nice looking ship. All in all, uh, a good progress for the first week of playing on this account. So, um, I'm thinking of changing the format for the next uh, weeks of playing this and uh, just doing one smaller video a day and not just uploading the whole episode. Or maybe I'll be doing both. So, uploading the whole episode and, um, well, doing a smaller part as well. More or less a uh, abbreviation. So thanks for watching. I'll uh, I'll be uh, I'll be off now. Um, I'll be streaming again Friday the 24th of March in 2017. I'll be streaming day eight. I hope to see you there. And um, if not, well, I might see you at a later point. Enjoy and have a great day.